A few graphics are circulating in some esoteric groups on social media regarding the geometry of music. This one shows the C chromatic scale with no source credit information. Here's another one, a circle of fifths off the tonic of B, also with no source credit information. I apologize for not giving appropriate credit for these images, but these are the images making their rounds online. In both of these graphics, as well as a few others circulating out there, a chromatic scale is shown on a closed circle. Each note lies equidistant from every other note, and lines are connected between them to show the inherent and beautiful geometry that underlies our musical scale. But these graphics are lying to us. The geometry we can create within a circle is very beautiful, but our 12-note chromatic scale does not create this geometry. And here's why. I've placed a C scale around a circle, as in the other graphics, but I've also added a line grid of the harmonic series off to the left, correlating each note around the circle to its harmonic frequency with a colored dot. What you'll notice is that every note in the scale correlates to a nice, evenly spaced harmonic on the left, except for one. The 27th harmonic that generates the note of A is offset from the rest of the scale, sitting much lower on the harmonic series than all the other notes. The reason for this is because the harmonic series has stubbornly placed a few more notes in between A and the rest of the scale notes we don't acknowledge or include in our traditional chromatic scale. But there they are, in harmonics 23, 25, 29, and 31. Because our traditional 12-note chromatic scale ignores these four notes, the geometrical pattern our chromatic scale generates looks more like this. But we can adjust the circle of the chromatic scale to include these ignored notes. Now we have every note accounted for, and because of this, each note is evenly spaced. What we've essentially done here in making our circle correspond to the harmonic series is that we've moved from a 12-note scale to a 16-note scale. And while a 12-note scale contains three intervals in each quadrant, the 16-note scale contains four. Both scales use the same circle, defining the same doubled octave, but we find that all along, hidden within each quadrant, has been a usable and necessary fourth interval, while we've been operating with only three. Of course, there could be an infinite number of intervals existing in any circle or any quadrant. But these four intervals correspond to the scale produced in the harmonic series between harmonics 16 and 32, while our chromatic scale's three intervals produce irregular gaps between frequencies. This hidden fourth interval brings to mind the Elizabethan mathematician and occult astrologer John Dee, who taught that within every ternary, or grouping of three, there's a hidden fourth, or quaternary. This hidden fourth can be a function of the Mies, as we see in the equilateral triangle. Three smaller triangles are formed by the larger one's vortices, but a fourth is formed by the position of the meson. In the harmonic series, we find D's hidden quaternary in the ternary, and when we use it to build a complete scale, we end up with this kind of geometry, evenly spaced and beautiful.
I'm grateful for any feedback. Please leave your thoughts in the comments, and thank you for watching.